Hey guys, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.com. We're currently watching Tropical Storm Colin as it is now redeveloped into Tropical Storm Colin. It's actually moving at this time and it's moving at an east northeast position at six knots or seven miles per hour. And uh, right now it's a little slow, but it's uh, got a chance of redeveloping into a stronger system. However, right now that's not possible, I don't believe, because of the low pressure area. And I believe right now that's. Uh, going to change its uh, path again and possibly even change how it's uh, increasing in size. So right now you have the minimum central pressure at 1,007 millibars and we have the maximum sustained winds at 40 knots or 45 miles per hour. This may pose a concern for Bermuda because it's got a large area of showers and thunderstorms with this uh, tropical storm. So we're going to continue to watch that as it moves on through Bermuda in the next couple of days. It should be in that area. It's about set. Saturday or Sunday. We're going to continue to keep you posted with that information. We also have the tropical waves that we were speaking of yesterday. The National Hurricane Center has finally posted this as a 40% chance of development, which is located about 650 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands and has become better organized. So we're going to continue to watch that for occurring information and development. And right now it is moving north north uh, westward and it's moving about 10 miles per hour and that's going to give it a good chance to continue to develop so we'll give you up-to-date information as it comes in from the National Hurricane Center. We also have a new storm system out in the eastern Pacific. In the eastern Pacific we see that there is a storm system out here which is now a tropical depression. In fact this storm system is now tropical depression number 7E and that storm system at maximum sustained winds are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is at 1,004 millibars, and it's located at 16.6 north and 104.0 west. So if you're tracking it with a Mr. Hurricane Tracker, go ahead and check it out at MrHurricaneTracker.com, where we have the satellite imagery up live and monitoring that storm. So it's moving west, northwest, moving away, but it's still going to cause some trouble in some areas, so we'll continue to keep you posted as it moves west, northwest at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour. We're moving pretty slow, so there's some areas still here that could receive some rain and storms from this developing tropical depression. So we'll continue to keep you posted on all this information that's coming in. We still have more waves that are trying to come off the South African coast. It's too early to tell for that as well, but we're continuing to see this tropical wave that's moving off with a area of low pressure that is a 40% again of chance of developing. So please stay tuned to Mr. Hurricane Tracker, and again, we'll keep you posted. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.